Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to bring you a video in the Tier 4 Japanese light tank, the Kiho, on Ruinberg Assault. Now I'm recording this for the second time because I accidentally deleted the recording, or the commentary for the first uh, recording, like a tet. So here we go. Tier 4 Japanese light tank, the Kiho, I'm super spandex in this bucket. We're the only two Tier 4s, the enemies have none, and then it's a Tier 5 and 6 game on Ruinberg. Now the last lower tier tank you saw me play was Deluxe, because I was grinding the Leopard 1. At the same time, I started going up the STB1 line, hence why I'm playing this thing. So in case any of you just wondering. Now, the matchmaking, while not ideal, is not the worst part of this. I can make do with that. My problem is the map. Now I'm in a light tank. If they just gave me a bit of a bigger map, I reckon I could still make things work. But on a map like this, it's not ideal. Um, if I'm honest. Now also, I'm going to fire a lot of premium this game. Uh... I normally don't do that, but given the matchmaking, and I have an XP booster active, and I'm hoping that this would be the only game I needed, or the last game I needed in this tank, um, then I should have tier 5. Um, you see I've got binoculars and camera on, that's just because it's equipment I don't need to spend gold on to equip, and I get all the silver back for it. So, um, uh, the penetration on this thing's gone, I can't remember what it is. I said in my looks video, my knowledge of low tier tanks, in terms of their guns, penetration, caliber, armor, I'm not too familiar with. Now I've got a penning shot into the side of a KV-85, which is a good start. Any damage in the tanks two tiers higher than you is always nice for the experience. Now, trying to position myself in a way where I could shoot without getting spotted, because if I get spotted, I'm in this thing, is if you get really lucky. Now KV-1 gets spotted, which is horrifying, one of the best lower tier tanks in the game. Uh, I'm quite scared of him. Tier 6 VK medium over this side of the map as well. And if you just look at the way I'm moving, I'm just struggling to know what to do. I'm trying to pick my fight um, intelligently and try and pick fights that I, can, I think I can win. Now, Tier 6 German light tank. He'll be good for XP, but the issue for me is he. Has, I found out when playing the Lux that the Tier 5 and 6 German lights actually have 30mm side armor. What that means is you can side scrape all 90mm guns. So you actually saw me bounce off a side there, and that's just because my gun's too low caliber, and he can't actually side scrape me. Now, he fucked up the angle a little bit as he was trying to retreat out of there. So, I'm not complaining though, I get a little bit more damage into a tier 6 tank. Um, now, KV-85, tier 6 tank coming up, I guess that's a floor play. And now, I'm not going to poke back round when I'm spotted at close range on a KV-85. However, RTD is going to move and is actually going to take the shot from the KV-85. And when he does, I'm going to push out. So KV-85 just fired. And now the TD on my team tracked him. And he doesn't have a repair kit. And I'm shooting his lower plate because I didn't think I'd be able to track and pan him. But it turns out that I can. And now I've got him exactly where I want him. Could have got a bit more damage had the TD not got one last shot into him. But, oh well. Um. Now KV-1, I'm trying to shoot through the wall, but I appear to be struggling. And I don't know why I've got standard rounds loaded here when I'm shooting at a KV-1. Of all the tanks that I should have the premium loaded for, it's him. Tier 6 medium comes around the corner. Uh, I actually set him on fire and get one more shot in before he goes. He does have a fire extinguisher, unfortunately. Now looking at this game, I'm pretty confident I'm not going to be able to win this in my current tank on this map. So it's just about maximising... XP potential, basically, and just try and get as much damage as possible. So I saw the medium coming up behind me, and right now what I'm trying to do is avoid the KV-1. I don't want to get into a fight with him. The mediums, or the AR or the ARL-44, if I can fight the mediums or the light tank, that would be ideal. Turn out from the KV-1, and as I'm crossing over, the, uh, the light tank's going to make an appearance, actually. And this is where I want to be, because he's my best chance of getting damage, basically. Driving in circles, auto-lock. Get the damage in. And I'm trying to avoid the shots. My track's absorber shell there. I back up a bit too far here, and take another shot. And I'm going to embarrass myself, and I'm going to try and get close to him to get below his gun. But I actually end up tapping into him and kind of ram-killing myself by mistake, like a Ted. But, this was still a really good game for me. Because let me tell you, the enemy team, the highest damage person on their team, was their top tier heavy tank on Ruinberg, to no one's surprise. 
Can any of you guess who the top damage on our team was? In this tier 6 game on Ruenberg. For all those of you who said the tier 4 Japanese light tank, you are correct. I did get an ace tanker and an Orlex medal of actually for killing 3 tier 6 tanks. Almost 1400 damage, almost 500 assistance, which I think is a pretty respectable result considering. And I only lost less than 2000 silver, which, to make good use of my uh, experience booster I had active, I think was worth it. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.